Damn! <coughs> uh, did you guys know that you can cut over 15 people a day and make over $300 in just one day? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do just that. What's going on? I'm Frank the Man, and you're watching Frank the Man TV, where I teach you how to increase your income, increase your clientele, and increase your marketing tactics. Before we can even start talking about clients, how we can get clients into the door, right? Because that's what we need to cut 15 people, people a day, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, and let's really bring it down to what it really, really, really brings it down to. And that's if you're a likable person or not. You know what I mean? Because sorry to break it to you, y'all. Like, some of y'all are ugly. And not ugly in facial features, because some of y'all are gorgeous. You know what I mean? But ugly in the sense of your state of being in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You're not a very likable person. You like to, when they, Whenever your clients, and you see this a lot in, 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 you know, in, in beauty shops, you like to gossip. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are, uh, technically, you're an unlicensed counselor. You know, barbers or a stylist. And a lot of people tell you they're, you know, they're juice. So how are you going to go and sell somebody else's juice, right, to somebody else? So you have to be a likable person. And the way you do that is simply crack a joke or two when you can. If you're not funny, that's okay. Smile. Talk to your client. Ask him about his day. How the kids, how the wife, my man. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just talk to your client. You know, if you become a likable person, this is an aura and energy that you have that nobody else has but you. So your clients, people talk about you and say, yo, my man, my man, Frank, the man, he cussed me up and he's always telling me this funny ass story, yo. Not even just the same story, but just several funny ass stories. It's whether you're fun or just likable. People like likable people. Does it make sense? So number two. So number two, where I have to check what it was. So number two, customer service, yeah. Once you get that client into your chair, you have to accommodate that client. You know, hey, hey, yo, my man, would you would you like a water, bro? Cause when you, I'm about to go get a water, would you like a water? Oh, word for sure. I'll be right back. Wow. You give them a water. That's the, that's the, what I always do. You know, I give my clients. I don't charge clients for water for the simple fact that I kind of need you. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of need them to be alive, so I want them to come back, you know? So it's like, it's a charge for, for water, yo. It's fucking water, I mean. It's free water, yo. Water should be free. I, 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 I don't even like to buy water in that grocery store, you know? But make sure you accommodate your clients by simply giving them, a, you know, a glass, uh, not a gas, but a, a group. What the not a glass, right, of, of water, but a, a, in, a water, in a water bottle, right? Make sure you guys accommodate your client, you give them a water bottle. Make sure you take, always take good care of them. Make sure that you know, every single, I once, I once heard a barber say this, he said, every haircut must be your, your best haircut, right? So at the end of the day, when you go home and you're, you're, you're asleep, you're knocked, right? You're not tossing and turning because you know that your last haircut was your best haircut. You feel me? So every every haircut, whether it's it's a comb or it's a pompadour, whether it's a razor fade, whether it's a shadow fade, make sure every haircut is your best haircut. So accommodate your cut your, your client by having basic customer service skills. That's accommodating your client, giving them water when he or she needs one, giving them the best haircut that they need, and just engaging with your client. All right, number three, I have to check again, I cause no, I'm. Anyways, right. So number three, right. Number three is marketing, homie. This book right here, the marketing blueprint. Right? It's an amazing book because this is where, yo, y'all think like some of the people be like, yo, you're so intelligent, bro. Oh my God. How, how are you so, you know, how, how are you so intelligent, bro, and know so much? I read, bro. There's literally no secret to it. I mean, I fucking read. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, in the marketing blueprint, yo, this shit is gold, homie. It is absolute gold. Literally, like this motherfucker has gold inside of it. Jules Marco, I love you, homie. You ever get to see this? Yo, I'm doing this because of you. Marketing, all it is is simply flirting with people. But in this case, we're not giving, you know what I'm saying? We're not giving, you know? We're, we're giving haircuts, you know, it's, it's a simple, it's a simple, a simple trait, right? You flirt with someone and say, hey, instead of giving me, you know, getting that number, getting that, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? So instead of doing that, right, in this, in our case, right, in the barbing and styling crowd, it's always, right, 
being with your clientele, and in this case, we all know what that is, social media, right? So you always flirt with them, and in return, they give you your money. And that is that is probably the best exchange, the best way that I can explain marketing to you guys. So anyways, how do we market ourselves as barbers and stylists? You guys can do what I did. And what I did was very simple. I learned that in order to increase your clientele, you have to give something sometimes, right? You give something. When I got a new client, I said, yo, my man, for every person that you bring to me, I'm gonna give you half off. So then that gives an incentive to the new person who's coming in and they're like, hey, you know, oh, that's what you do? Word, orderly, let's, let's go ahead and get this popping. So that person would bring me another person, I would give him $5 off his service. And it just kept going and going and going and going until I built this massive clientele that, yo, was, was just abundant, you know what I mean? So, but on top of that, you know, on top of that, that was just, that was like, like that was like a, like a, like a, just like a jab, you feel me? And then I hit him with this. I made business cards, and all I did was I gave one business card to every single one of my clients, right? That's all I did. I gave them one business card, and I told them, hey, young brother, sister, homie, pal, client, my man, can you do me this solid? He said, what now? I'm trying to increase my clientele, and you know me, right? It's, it's much harder to market to new people than it is to the people you already have, because they already know you, they understand you, they trust you, and they know you. So when you do that and, and you market to your same clients, they're the best ones that can, that can bring more people to you. Because instead of trying to pull somebody new, you already have that person locked in, you feel me? So all I told them was simple. I know you know somebody who needs me, who needs my services. Do you mind giving this card to them? And they did. It was amazing. That's how I built the massive clientele. On top of that, if you're trying to understand how you can go ahead and, and start marketing yourself as, as a licensed professional, as a, as a barber or a stylist, click on this video right here. I'm going to put like a little note card over here, and I want you guys to go ahead and click on that video, right? And come back to this one, or save it to the end, regardless. But these little bad boys right here, right? A business card is so important and so critical and so powerful. All right, number four, number four, number four, right? Let's go ahead and get into number four. We don't need that. Anyways, all right, so number four, all right? Now you're a marketing genius. You got people coming in, in and out your shop. You got one waiting, one coming on the road. You got so many people coming, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're, you're the rock star barber. Everybody knows your name. You're like, ah, oh, ah, Frank the man. Oh, ah. That's you now. Now you got people and I was cracking. But now you're like, damn, yo, I double booked myself. Like a lot of people do. I used to do that too, right? I don't do that no more though. You know why? Because now we live in the millennial age, the golden era. You know what I'm saying? The golden era of hip hop was back then, right? But I think we're right now in the golden era of, of clients, of making money because everything is online like how you see me right now. And what we can do as barbers and stylists is, is, is just take advantage of that, is, is, is monetize that. One simple way to do that is by simply doing appointments. Uh, and one way to manage that better yet is by having an online website or simply an app that people can download. I know what you're thinking, an app, bro, that's corny, yo. That's corny. Yo, but we live in the golden era, right? Golden era hip hop was back then, right? We live in the golden era of the internet right now. We need to monetize and profit off that, right? If, if it can increase sales, why not do it? You feel me? And I know, I know, I know, yo, I know. All the old heads watching right now. Back in my day, we used to sit at the shop and people used to just come on in and work back then and do the work right now. Yo, listen, old head. Yo, that old shit, leave it into the old. You see, that's the problem. It worked back then, but it won't work right now. And the reason why it won't work is because before you were here, before you were on YouTube, you were on Instagram. Before you were on Instagram, you were on Snapchat. Before you were on Snapchat, you were on Twitter, homie. So understand that everybody in the motherfucking mama is on social media right now. They're, all their eyeballs are dog. When people are driving, they're not even paying attention. They're on their phone. So billboards are useless. People aren't even watching the goddamn road, let alone they're looking up into the sky to see some random advertisements. So, yo, we're living in the golden era of social media, so we have to monetize and profit off of that. We have to be able to adapt. If you don't adapt, then die. It's plain and simple, yo. If you're not gonna be adapting, then you're gonna be left behind, that's plain and simple. Because the young cats, they're adapting. Not only they're adapting, but they're doing very, very well at that. And we all have to do appointments, you guys. And the reason why I say that is because you're at night, the night before, shit, me, a week before, I get to see how many people I have in um, on my client list for that week. So then that gives you the ability to say, hey, tomorrow I have three spots opening. So throughout the day, in the morning, I'm just going to go ahead and start marketing myself all day long until I fill up those three spots. 
So hey, there's that. That's why the number one reason why people should always do appointments. So anyways, let's go ahead and go to number five. Number five is simple. Take responsibility, yeah. Right? If, right, and when doing appointments, and I hope all you guys do appointments because that's the only way that you can actually truly cut 15 people a day. Right? Because if you're trying to be out, out, if you're doing nine to five and you're cutting it 30, 30 minute haircuts each one, then you're gonna have an hour break. Not only that, but you're gonna be at the shop at six at the latest. Now, I like to go ahead and just do 10 hour, uh, I like to do 10 hour days, right? But I only work four days a week. And the reason why I only work four days a week is because I take two of the days that I don't work, I'm doing you I'm doing this, I'm doing this for you guys. So I do 40 hours a week and I still make my, I make $300 a day, not including tips, y'all. So if I charge $20 for a haircut and I cut 15 people a day, how much is that? $30 a day. Each person tips me an average of $3. Let's do the math. Anyways, not to, not to blind you with that, Taking responsibility is sometimes when you're cutting hair, sometimes you, you know, the story was too good or the conversation was too good and you kind of get behind. So what you need to do is pick up your phone and be like, yo, my man, Christian, my man, Rofo, my man, uh, anybody, right? You just say, hey, Brody, uh, I'm 10, 15 minutes behind. You know, I don't, want, I don't want you to stress yourself. Just get here safe. That little thing right there alone is you taking responsibility as a professional and they love and appreciate that. Because if you're not taking responsibility, somebody else will. And that, and that somebody else is going to take your client from you. Because you have to understand, these clients don't belong to you. They never have. And they never will. So you have to understand that. You know, if you take responsibility and you follow these four things that I've previously mentioned, you will always cut 15 people a day. You're always going to cut these people right? because you, you're doing everything you can as a professional to have that status of what a true professional should be. You know, taking responsibility, you guys, is amazing. And I promise you, your clients will always, always love you for that. So there you guys have it. Five tips on how to cut 15 people a day and make over $300 a day, not including tips, homie. Ain't that something? Didn't I tell you in the beginning of this video I do that for you, y'all? So do me a favor. Matter of fact, do me a favor right now and like this video, yo. Do me that favor. Not only that, but can you comment, do say something on me in like a month from now and be like, yo, I did exactly what you said and I it happened exactly the way you said it was going to happen. Hey, I'm going to... I'm gonna do this, Frank. I'm gonna do this. I promise you. I promise myself. I promise my clients back. I promise, buddy. I promise my bank account, homie. You feel me? I promise. Cause that's that. Fuck me. You know what I mean? That right there. Those when you when you when your bank account got commas in it, bro. Then come talk. Come be like, yo, my man. Yo, it happened, bro. Just say that. That's it. Just say it happened. Okay. So I hope you. I hope to see those comments down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Where I put I put out videos every single week. So make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys come back and see me every single week, you guys. I'm out of here. Salute to all of y'all YouTubers out there. To all of you YouTube cats out there. I'm out.